What's up, YouTube? It's Damon, aka the world's worst magician, uh, bringing you a look at the different deck um, by a company called Teach by Magic. And uh, so this this deck is it's pretty cool. Uh, flip it over so you can see. This is the non bicycle branded uh, deck. Um, so the name of the deck is different, <laughs> which is kind of what it is. Um, so this was a Kickstarter campaign, and uh, I also bought the coin because I, I really liked uh, what it said. So I guess we'll just go ahead and jump into this. So on the coin, uh, let me focus in here, but it says, don't hope for luck, prepare for it. And then on the back, it says, don't wait for luck, create your own. Um, so I like the inspirational messages there. Uh, I also like, there's something old school here. Uh, when you flip a coin, heads I win and tails you lose. So that's just an old thing. I thought this would be uh, super cool as a card cover or just kind of taking around with me because I really liked it. And you can see there's all kinds of hidden uh, symbols in there and pips. Um, and that's on both sides. So uh, that kind of sets the tone for the deck. So the reason it's called different is because there's hidden messages. And the uh, makers teach by magic. They're all about hidden messages. So as you can see, this is a club. Um, but it actually has words written in it that form the club. Um, so we'll peel around the tuck here, air cushion finish. Uh, this is actually the back. It's a standard two-way back. And then see things differently. So with this deck, uh, they had an original one that came out before, so this is uh, kind of the updated version. And what you get is going to be the, uh, so the co here's the company name, it's Teach by Magic. Uh, with their website and then these are things that you can actually look for uh, in the cards kind of like a scavenger hunt which I also thought was pretty cool it's different for a deck of cards um, here is um, what tells you I mean they have every they even have Klingon I'm a, I'm a Star Trek nerd so when I saw that I was like oh it's super cool but yeah there's different languages that form um, the different cards that you're looking at so to kind of explain it here's the Joker so you can actually see the word Joker written across here in English and then here's uh, the word clown um, so they have all these different words for what a joker is that actually make up the picture of the joker and then for the two jokers you can see that they are different um, so I like that they went out of their way to make two completely different jokers with you know a lot of words um, so the deck uh, as I go through this they're they're not in order um, so the reason I left it like this, this is actually the new deck order uh, for their deck. If you put this, uh, I wrote the creator and talked to him, and he said that if you put this into an uncut sheet, it forms messages. Um, so he likes to kind of kick it old school with uh, the numbers. Think about the numbers on a, a telephone pad. So like if, if you were looking at an uncut sheet and you had 4673, um, that actually spells out the word hope. So while you're going through the deck, there's going to be combinations of numbers that if you look on a keypad, uh, you might be able to spell words out. So uh, they like to use the words uh, hope and love and, um, and luck. So if you look around, you'll, you'll probably find a lot of the words and then um, you can find uh, those different things in that original card, like you were looking for a penguin and stuff like that. So uh, we'll kind of step through these. And like I said, I left them in the original order so you can see how they come. Um, this is the nine of clubs. So you can see right through here, it says nine. Um, and then you have all these different ways of making nine in different languages. Um, and it's the same thing with the uh, court cards. You have the face of the court and then different words for what it is. So you can see the queens here. And then these are different words for queen in, in other languages. Um, so the court cards all hold uh, the same thing. So you're going to see the words are going to be in the shape. Um, of the suit and then you're gonna have the court card face and then words that describe it again here's queen over here and um, you know to me this was a really cool concept and uh, I can't lie I was most excited about getting that coin just because the whole heads I win tails you lose thing I thought that was super cool um, but the cards themselves I mean this is probably the most unique thing I've seen on a card uh, I've never even heard of this concept uh, before this deck uh, so I'm just kind of stepping through them here uh, for you. And here's another court card. Mm. 
times the word seven, and then seven written in another language here. So all the cards are going to follow this same concept. Uh, the cards themselves, I don't know that I'm really picking up on it, but they're they're not white. Um, it's kind of a, I don't know, it's almost like green undertones there. Um, but the cards, uh, they feel great. I mean, if you're going to do uh, magic tricks or whatever with these, uh, they would be great for it. Just flipping these over so you can see that. And uh, again, I'll I'll leave a link in the description so you can see um, the Kickstarter campaign, and they may be providing a link. Actually, if they have an updated link uh, for where you can purchase these uh, now, I'll go ahead and include that as well because uh, the Kickstarter campaign is is over at this point. Familiar face there. All right, and you can see the eight right there. So just a super cool concept for these. And again, if you uh, look at the order of the numbers, some of these are going to spell out words on a keypad. It's Mr. Lincoln, yeah. cabbage. So this was all different words for uh, money. I got like the money symbol. And here's the king of spades and the five of clubs. Um, and I'll let you see the back here. Sorry. So again, it's a two-way back here. And uh, the fan's gonna look the same um, both ways, but cards look nice, they fan well, they feel good. Um, this is one of those that you can do a blank deck uh, with them and you don't have to worry about like the pips sticking out or any of that so I thought that was pretty good but again they they feel good they look good um, and I just I'm floored by the creativity to uh, you know make the pips out of words and to use over a hundred different languages that's <laughs> just unheard of um, but I will leave a link in the description for you um, again here's that coin and they also had some wooden uh, dice that they put out. Well I hope you liked that review and if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. Alright, see ya!